If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. A lot of times I will report or uh, some event that has happened to us. And of course, a lot of people will make certain suggestions on things that I need to buy to eliminate this problem, whatever the problem is that I've experienced. So the other day I was telling you about how, you know, we had a lot of flat tire issues. Uh, I think, you know, what had happened was we got down into a conservation area and thorn bushes were poking holes. This was way back in November. Well, for whatever reason, we started having problems with with uh, tires again uh, here recently and we just bought new tires well i was explaining all this someone said you need to buy a metal detector to check for all the nails now on a side note i would like to suggest to folks pick up your nails here you're seeing a picture of carolyn holding a handful of nails that we picked up out of an alleyway here at a city park somebody said that we need to buy a metal detector and, and scan the area with the metal detector to find nails that are going to pop our tires well when you're sitting at home and you're thinking about this lifestyle and all the wonderful things to it, I guess you don't really grasp some of the things that are happening out here. How far would you actually use the metal detector? I mean, miles? Does that mean I have to get out of the... Tr I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I'm trying to explain what the difficulties are just with having a metal detector. Uh, I cannot think of one campground out in the National Forest that had the potential for, for nails that would have been a short walk. You know, I guess at some point you have to say, okay, when do we actually stop worrying about things that are going to happen to us out here? Yeah, you're going to get flat tires. It's just going to happen. I mean, that's the reality of the lifestyle. And, you know, you can buy all kinds of equipment, and in the end, you're still going to have problems. Uh, and you're not going to have any room for clothes and food and water, you know, the things that you got to really have. I know the one thing that a lot of people tell me about is chainsaws. You gotta have a chainsaw, gotta have a chainsaw, gotta have a chainsaw. Even if I just bought an electric one, that means that I gotta run it off the generator. I mean, it can't be too powerful because if it's too powerful, then my generator wouldn't run it. And no, I'm not gonna get another bigger generator just so I can run power tools. But the biggest problem I have with a chainsaw is, is space. And the entire time that we have been out here for the last two years, I would have needed a chainsaw once. If I got a gas chainsaw, then I would also have to carry the gas. Now remember, gas goes bad after a certain period of time. So in two years, the gas that I would have had stored back for a chainsaw would have been bad when I've actually needed it. These, these chainsaws are 15 or 20 pounds. I think about that in food consumption. 15, let's say it's 15 pounds. We carry 14 pounds of meat, two weeks worth of meat, I would have to sacrifice something in order to carry the chainsaw. So the other day, I, I told you about an issue that I had, that somebody parked next to us in our campground. I mean, that happens all the time, no matter what you do. No, if you watch YouTube videos long enough, you're going to see YouTubers complaining about campers coming around and crowding you at your campground. It's just, it's just there. It's just the reality of the lifestyle. No matter what you do, somebody said, why don't you park, in, instead of parking along with the campground, park against the camp spot, that way nobody can park in, in there and, and get in your way. Well, I've done that before. I actually parked the wrong direction to keep people out of my campground. And somebody just pulled in beside us where we couldn't get out. We were stuck there all weekend. I'm not the kind that's going to just go out and start yelling at people. I think if I think if I do that out in the National Forest, what if they got mad? What am I going to do? You know, get in a fist fight? You know, I'm just not the type of person to go cause a conflict. I just sit around patiently waiting for them to, you know, get the heck out of my way. But a lot of people suggested, well, why don't you get a tent and you can set up a tent and that way they can't park there or a longer extension cord and, you know, just a whole list of different things. And of course, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. But again, what am I going to sacrifice in order to actually put that in the truck? I don't think people recognize how small of a space the truck actually is or a van if you're going to live in a van. I know people on YouTube that live in a minivan. As a matter of fact, we used to carry around a shower tent. And I had to redesign the camper so we could actually have a shower inside the camper because there was just no way I could afford the space of the shower tent. Uh, it, it was just, and the thing is, then you got to set it up and break it down. I mean, think about doing that every three days, you know, three to five days here at these, at these free campgrounds with free electric that we've been staying at in Texas. It's just a lot of extra work, whereas right now it takes me all 15 minutes to pack up and go. So the hardest problem I have trying to explain the lifestyle, the realistic lifestyle, uh, with you is 
trying to show you all the slices of the lifestyle so you can understand that when you do this thing, it's going to affect five or six other things. You know, if I have a metal detector, you know, I'm going to have to hang it from the roof. Well, then I have to remove something to do that. Uh, if I have a chainsaw, I got to get rid of probably a bucket of water is what I would have to get rid of. Again, this is a little slice of two different videos, you know, water consumption, the need to keep water, and the chainsaw, I'd only need a couple, you know, every couple of years. I'm not willing to give up the, the five gallons of water so I can have a little bit of assurance that, that if a limb falls down, I can cut it down. I get a lot of people tell me I got to have tools, 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 repair everything on the truck. Well, if I had all those tools that people tell me to carry on the truck, I would actually be using those tools more, if you think about this, than if I don't have the tool. Think about this. I'm carrying, let's say, a 500 pounds in tools. Well, that's harder on the truck. It's going to be harder on the transmission. It's going to be harder on the brakes. It's going to be harder on the tires. It's going to be harder on the engine. So all these components are wearing out quicker carrying around all the tools than if I didn't have the tools in the first place. So yes, I can go and change my brakes, for example, with all the tools that I'd be carrying, but I'd have to replace my brakes twice or three or four times as much carrying around those tools. The back seat of the pickup truck, for example, is completely full. It's got our canned good food in it. It's got rubber made. It's got our shower. And the shower, you know, the shower is actually one of those things I've considered giving up before. It was a gift for my father. It's a one-use item. I don't know, it weighs 10 or 15 pounds. And it is a huge thing that takes up, you know, it takes up the whole seat. It takes up one seat in the back of the uh, back seat of the pickup truck. We got an extra blanket. And we've got it in one of those vacuum sealed bags, but it still takes up a huge space. Well, the problem is, is if you cut that bag by accident, you throw something on top of it and rip the bag, well, then the blanket just poofs right back up. So you're constantly dealing with a bag of, of, of a blanket that you're only going to use in the wintertime. Think about the big picture and what that means and that you're going to have to give up. Thanks for watching. Click like if you like video. And happy travels.